from which San Juan City is the capital city of the island Puerto Rico and also is the largest city of the island Puerto Rico. Before continuing, amigos, let me tell you that what everybody knows as Puerto Rico is an archipelago. Puerto Rico is an archipelago. What I mean by this, amigos, is that Puerto Rico is a group, is composed of a group of islands. How many islands compose the archipelago of Puerto Rico? Seven, seven different islands. Oh, yes. The island where we are, across the harbor, we got another island. The name of the island of the island where we are is Puerto Rico or the big island. All the way around this island we got six more islands. That one, the San Juan Island. We also have Vieques, Culebra, the Coffin Island, Mauna and Maurito. Seven different islands. Making, making a big population, <coughs> three and a half millions residents. That is in the entire Puerto Rico. In San Juan City, San Juan City, amigos, as I already told you, is the largest, but I haven't mentioned. How many people live in San Juan City? San Juan City population, amigos, is one and a half million residents. About a third of the total population is in San Juan City. San Juan City, amigos, is divided in two main parts. We have in San Juan, amigos, what we call the historical part of, uh, of San Juan City. And we also have in San Juan City what we call the new cosmopolitan part of our city. Coming up to our uh, right hand side, this is the San Juan City Convention Center. Coming up to our left, this is the San Juan City Sheraton, Sheraton Hotel. Well, amigos, very shortly we are going to be getting into a residential section. We got here in San Juan City, known as Miramar Community. In this section, we'll see many, many condominiums, many, many 
private houses along and, and only few hotels. The majority of our hotels are right next to the beach. Beach is an attraction. Puerto Rico has to offer to anybody who visit Puerto Rico. In one of the islands of the archipelago, we have one of the top five most beautiful beach in the world. The name of this one is Flamenco Beach. Flamenco Beach is at Culebra Island. Anybody has an idea of what is the translation to English of this term, Culebra? Snake. The shape of the island is very, very similar to a snake. That's why they name it that way. Your first time in Puerto Rico? Yeah. yeah. For the majority of you, right? Yeah. Yes. Then if I don't know the answer, if you ask me any question and I don't know the answer, I can invent it. <laughs> because you won't notice the difference if I am lying or not. Do you? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. If I don't know the answer, I will find it. Do you know where I will find it? Google, Google yeah, right. <laughs> to the right hand side, because we got a big tower. It happens to be the large, the tallest building we got in Puerto Rico. Originally built as a hotel. They turn it into a condominium today. The name of this tower is Boring King. My friends. Borinquen was the very, very first name given to this land. Of course, given to it by the first inhabitant of the island Puerto Rico. Borinquen means in their language, land of the great Lord in their language. The first inhabitants, the Tainos, Tainos. The Tainos were descendants of the Arawak culture from South America, mostly from Venezuela. The Tainos were divided in three different social classes. The Cacique de Naboria and the Boique. Boike was a sorcerer, Naboria, working class, Cacique the chief. They made their living from hunting, fishing, and also farming. Can you hear me the way way back? Oh yeah. 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 Are you guys comfortable? Yeah. It's, a it's a bit loud. Oh, loud, 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 loud. <laughs> what about now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Still hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Mucho bueno, my friends. <laughs> if you have any comment, any question, please feel free to say it, okay? Thank you. If you think it's too low now, tell me, I will raise it up again. No, it's good. Perfect. All right. The section where we are, amigos, Miramar community, Miramar community. Residential section.
from here we are gonna see some private houses. You will notice, amigos, that the majority of the windows of the houses and doors, they all have security windows and doors. All these houses, they all have fences all the way around it. This is, amigos, a Spanish influence to our culture. The island Puerto Rico, amigos, was discovered by Columbus and settled down by Juan Ponce de Leon. And they, the Spaniards, stayed in Puerto Rico for about more than, a little bit more than 400 years. So we inherit from them many, many of their customs, the way they cook, religion, their language. We all speak Spanish in Puerto Rico, amigos. This is the predominant language in Puerto Rico. I learned English in school here in Puerto Rico. If you don't understand my English, amigos, it's easy. I can do this all in Spanish. My Spanish is perfect. <laughs> But I think, I think that, I, that my English is a lot better than your Spanish, should, so I should continue it in English. <laughs> to our left, amigos, to our left, the very, very first synagogue temple built in Puerto Rico right here. This is the second oldest in America. At the other side, at the other side, amigos, we are facing, facing. At the other side of the lagoon, we are facing. The main hotel district of Puerto Rico. The beach is by that sign. That's why we got the majority of our hotels down in that area. Too loud. What's that? Too loud. 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 Too very good. You yeah. see, the problem was the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> so the hotels, amigos, the hotels are in that section to our left. inhabitants of the island Puerto Rico, I already told you their uh, tribe was known as Tainos. They used to play a sport which was very, very similar to the European football. These natives, they were always, always naked. As soon as we get into the, we are going to be turning to our left. As soon as we turn, uh, getting under the bridge, you will see a mural which represents these natives playing the sport I mentioned. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, amigos, I told you that the city, the city, the tour of the city was divided in two main parts. The new, this is where we are. And the historical part, we are going to be getting into it after we see the new. Okay? <coughs> okay. okay. This is this part. These are the natives of the island of Puerto Rico. of the hotels, they all have casinos. To our uh, right hand side, amigos, the first class hotel right here. The name of it is La Concha. La Concha Hotel. Amigos, it's always been very, very difficult to take pictures while the bus is running. This is one of the most be beautiful spots we got on our tour. This is the new city, the hotel, the main hotel district, not only for San Juan City, for the entire island Puerto Rico. Okay? If you walk half a block from here, you will be on the beach. You can take some nice picture of all the hotel district all the way along the coast, my friends. Uh, we are making a stop in here. Uh, right in the corner, there is a coffee shop. Right here, they sell Puerto Rican coffee. It's not like the American coffee, my friends. I gotta warn you. <laughs> it's not like your coffee, American coffee. No. It's very, very strong coffee. If you are not used to it, 
You could be awake for two days. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I gotta warn you. <laughs> Later, if you can, if you don't hear anything I say, tell me to use the speaker, okay? Okay. Later, later, not now. You say you can hear me in the back, okay? Yeah. Very good, amigos. I am here to please as many as I can. Here. Hey, yes. My nickname is not August. It's Goss. Yes. Three letters, Goss. Yes. If you have a question, a comment, you say, hey, Goss, listen to this, please. I will. My friends, next to the coffee shop, wash rooms. No one knows. No one knows. And we are making a 20, 20 minutes. Seven makes 49 in all directions. Seven. The Spaniards, they were Catholic, but they were very, very superstitious. That was their lucky number. Seven. And this city, this 49 blocks city, was completely, completely enclosed, surrounded all the way around by big walls. 40, 50, 60 feet high in some areas are 60, 70, up to 100 feet surrounding the city all the way around with six big wooden doors for getting into our city. Mm. And two forts enclosed by walls and two forts, one facing the sea when facing the land, made to protect our city against sea and land attacks, invasions, respectively. The main rivals of the Spaniards in those early days were the Dutch, the English, are you English? <laughs> and the French. Eventually, the United States of America, the Caribe Indians, the Caribe Indians were cannibals. They knocked you down, and they fried you in grease or water. They cooked you in water. It's amazing. <laughs> this was land of no one in those early days, my friends. So that's why they built these big walls and these forts to protect our city, to protect themselves against invasion. Let's go and see that. This is the highlight, that is the highlight of the tour. Let's go there. Vámonos. Vámonos. To our left, the Gamba Minion to our left. I refer to Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Oh. Beginning to the right, the very, very first tourism hotel built in Puerto Rico. Right here. Mm. This hotel is 100 years old. Wow. Owned by the Vanderbilt people. Mm. Have you heard about these people? Yes. Gloria Vanderbilt, yes. the Lady of the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Coming up to our left hand side, you are going to see <coughs> a body of water. It's a lagoon. Authorities don't let motor boats transit through it. <coughs> because this is one of, one of the few places in America where dolphins and manatees come oh, on their honeymoon. <laughs> What happened here? 
Amigos, this lady Felicita Rincón de Gautier, the first mayor of San Juan City. She stayed in the power for 28 years. Local people here made a mosaic on her honor. The mosaic illustrates her face here to our left. Right here, guys. Because the currency, currency in Puerto Rico is U.S. currency. Citizenship in Puerto Rico since 1970 is U.S. as well. But the gasoline in Puerto Rico is sold by liters. <laughs> a liter is about a quart of a gallon. If you multiply the amount there times four, you will get the equivalency in dollars. It's around three dollars a gallon, my friends. <coughs> Side, amigos, this body of water is the Atlantic. The island Puerto Rico lies between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. The Atlantic touches the north and the west coast. The Caribbean Sea, the south and the east coast. Very surely, amigos, we are going to be passing right next to the first medicine school opening in Puerto Rico, right here to our left now. Opened back in 1903 by Dr. Rafael Ashford. The actual medicine school is not anymore in San Juan City. Today, it is by the south side of the island Puerto Rico by the city of Ponce. Ponce is, amigos, the second largest city of Puerto Rico, 466,000 residents by the city of Ponce. The actual university is known as the Our Catholic University. This building to our left is the house of the crooks. I mean, sorry, the house of the politicians. <laughs> My friends, this building, the building was built back in 1920 with a cost of two millions, very close to two millions. It took around seven years, seven years to complete the building because all the material used for building it was all imported into Puerto Rico from Europe, from a place with, from a place known as the Carrara Mountains of, of Italy. Amigos, in here we have 
the central offices of our legislature, which is a bicameral legislature. It consists of 28 senators and 32 congressmen, free elected every every four years. As I promise you, we were heading to the to the historical part. There it is, right there. Stay ahead. Can you notice something in the top of the hill? That is one of the forts. Saint Christopher Fort. Built facing our land to protect our city against land invasions. Now what 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 we are gonna do? We go next to the fort and next to the walls that surrounds our city to the other fort, to the other end. We are gonna be making a little stop to take some pictures. How's that? Yeah. Very good. Sounds great. But before that, before making this stop, we are gonna be stopping in a fort. So you can walk around the fort and check how it was built and check if you climb all the way to the top you will have an excellent view of the San Juan Harbor, the open ocean and the other fort. Okay, the two forts were connected by tunnels, underground tunnels, escape tunnels in those early days. So let's go and see that it's worth it. Amigos, take a look at the monument across the street. Take a look what he's doing. It's pointing. <laughs> See? It's pointing somewhere. See the finger? Yeah. yeah. Before you think anything or something else, let me tell you what this finger stands for. The finger he's, stand, he's using, he's pointing up, is not the middle finger, okay? <laughs> it's this one here. This one, going it that way, stands for crisis number one. <laughs> the monument there was made to remember the San Juan City patron, Saint John the Baptist. Oh, 
Amigos, if you look straight, you will see part of the walls. Once we see this part, we are going to be getting out and I'm going to drive you all the way along these walls. So you will see how they surround the entire city. Okay? Sure. And we are going to be able to take some pictures of the other fort, San Felipe del Morro Fort. This fort became very, very famous. Back in the, back in 1595, what it beat, beat St. Francis Day. Oh yes, you know that uh, this gentleman had a lot of reputation and it was beaten by the Moroccan Casa. Amigos, we are going to be here for 45 minutes. How's that? Okay. Okay, the boss is going to be right here, <coughs> waiting for you guys to come, okay? You can leave your belongings because I'm going to drive you where to the entrance of the fort, and then I'm going to return to our boss. Okay? Mm -hmm. Loving the camera. What? What? <laughs> Why am I in trouble? You know, because you're doing good on every stuff. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have that review, you'd be getting in trouble. <laughs> Why would I be in trouble? After 1898, We're doing some stuff. when Puerto Rico became part of the United States of America, this old city right here became the oldest city under the American flag. It's even older than St. Augustine in Florida. How many years older than St. Augustine? 26 years older than St. Augustine. The place to our right hand side, amigos, this place is known as La Marqueta. La Marqueta, amigos, was the first marketplace over in Puerto Rico. In those early days, amigos, they didn't have currency, so they used to exchange their goods. For example, I give you one pound of coffee, you give me back three pounds of sugar, and sounds like a deal. <laughs> amigos, in, in, this, in the historical part, we pave our streets using the original cobblestones 
that used to give ballast to the old Spanish galleons. How these galleons used to get back to Spain. They used to they used to take our or the main products ground in Puerto Rico as ballast in their galleons. In those early days, these products were coffee, sugar, and tobacco. High ceilings, balconies, inside patios, a white, a white entrance hall in front of the property. And inside, I mentioned that, inside patios. Those were some of the most common char characteristics of these houses. Have any of you ever heard the word chinchorro? Chinchorro? Take a look at the way we spell it, right there. Chinchorro. Puerto Rican chinchorro. <laughs> Amigos, that is a place where we sell alcoholic drinks. Alcoholic drinks. Chin Cho Ro. My friends, by the way, we we produce a beer in Puerto Rico known as Medala. It's an excellent beer. If you like beers, try that one. I guarantee you, amigos, two of those, and you're gonna be talking in Spanish in no time. Okay, amigos, I want you all to know that the historical part of uh, San Juan City is classified as a historical site under the United Nations. Because of this, amigos, it's against the law to destroy any, any single house while building new ones. The old city have to be kept the way it was originally. This might be the reason why many, many movie stars and their directors have chosen our city for making different movies. I remember a few of them. Amistad. Amistad. What about assassins? Sylvester Stallone and Antonio Banderas. What about Captain uh, Ron, Pirates of the Caribbean, Bar 6, 5 and 6. Uh, Fast and Furious. El Cantante, Jennifer Lopez, Mark Anthony and many, many, many others, amigos, many, many others.
facing the main city square, Christopher Columbus Square. We got Columbus Monument in the middle there. In the base, take a look at the base of the monument. There is a plate right there which symbolizes the three Spanish galleons Christopher Columbus brought on his discovery journey. Remember reading about them? La Niña, La Niña, La Pinta. I know you remember, La Santa Maria. Building to the right, it's a school, a public school. To our left, social club. <laughs> They use it for different activities such as weddings, mm -hmm. anniversaries, birthdays, <coughs> divorces. <laughs> the big building to our right hand side, that is the most hated building in Puerto Rico. <laughs> the most hated building in Puerto Rico. Taxes. <laughs> IRS building. The building in Peach. This is the central central office of our family department. <coughs> Amigos, because our San Juan City is the capital city of the island Puerto Rico we have the central offices of all the main departments we got in our government here in our capital city to our left hand side amigos this is our Olympic committee headquarters to it amigos we have a social social club and restaurant Spanish food they prepare their excellent Spanish Paella. Let me tell you, amigos, that our national drink, uh, national dish is very, very similar to the Spanish paella. Mm -hmm. Consists of chicken, rice, and seafood. Mm -hmm. Very similar to it. <laughs> to the right hand side, we got a little plaza here made to honor our police force. Next to the monument here, we got a couple of uh, almond trees. Almond trees. You can see some of the almond nuts on the floor because this is the season, guys. Next to this little plaza, we got another little plaza made to honor our school teachers. Mm -hmm. From here till, till here. Next to this uh, teacher's plaza, we got a monument there made to remember the six million people who died at the Holocaust. That's our Holocaust monument. Okay, next to this little plaza, we got another little plaza. Oh, before that, before before getting to the to the other monument, we got some money statues all the way along this sidewalk. We call this sidewalk the sidewalk of our presidents because they, the, all these presidents they were active since we started the, our relationship with the United States of America starting with remember that one? Teddy Roosevelt you know what Teddy did for us? in 1917 he gave our people under an act known as Act Jones, the right to become USA citizens just by born. Mm. 
Well, because this is our memorial monument. In the way back, we got thousands of names, names of Puerto Ricans who died in action in any of our conflicts. The name of the conflict, the name of the war, and under it all the names of locals who died serving our country. Under the Second War is my daddy's name. He died for what I believe, democracy. We got some more here. Kennedy, Lyndon B. J. Eisenhower, I believe it's Eisenhower. And the last one. About amigos, we are making space. We are gonna remove this palm tree for making space for Trump. Very, very shortly, amigos, we are going to be passing right next to the San Juan City Weather Bureau. Let me tell you, amigos, the type of weather we got in Puerto Rico is a tropical, marine hot, 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 hot. <laughs> summer, 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 and more summer. <laughs> amigos, tropical marine weather. This means, amigos, plenty of sunshine most of the time. The highest temperature ever recorded, recorded in San Juan City was 98 degrees. The average is 70, 77 degrees. And the lowest ever we had recorded here in San Juan City was, let me tell you, amigos, I was freezing that night. I'm not used to low temperatures. 62 degree, degrees, almost. The lowest ever. Very shortly, amigos, very, very shortly. We are going to be passing right next to a Catholic uh, school, a Catholic church, and a Catholic convent. These places, they were very, very famous. Back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, she was because because there was a Hollywood star that used to come to these places very very often, year round, for making episodes of a TV series that made us happy for decades. You see, in the corner, we got a convent, Catholic convent. I refer to Sally Fields. She used to make episodes for? This was for the action. Was Hill. Well, amigos, what moved the economy here in San Juan City is mostly government offices, jobs, and what else? Tourism, exactly. Tourism. That is only for San Juan City.
Bueno amigos, generally, generally talking, what moved the economy in the seven different islands we have who compose Puerto Rico are we have three major industries. Number one is manufacture. Number two is tourism. And number three is agriculture. To our left hand side, amigos, we are passing right next to the San Juan Central Park. The size of it, amigos, is 27 acres of land. To the right hand side, amigos, we got a beautiful condominium. Another celebrity of Puerto Rico live in this condominium. He owns one of his penthouses. This celebrity made very, very popular the song La Vida Loca back in the 90s. Remember, Ricky Martin. Well, amigos, the first industry is money. Oh, before that, amigos, we are facing two of the beaches who connect the San Juan Island with Puerto Rico. The big island, Puerto Rico. See that one, this one? So we are gonna be back shortly. Now, on the big island, Puerto Rico. manufacture and the leading exporting product of the island Puerto Rico is made from sugar cane but it is in sugar and his name has three letters rum, rum is the leading exporting product here in Puerto Rico let me tell you, amigos, that in Puerto Rico we have 11, 11 rum factories. We got the largest in the world in Puerto Rico, known as Bacardi. Bacardi. Besides Bacardi, we produce rum rico, añejo, superior, palo viejo, llave, you can ask me about them because I know them all. <laughs> you know, the one I like best is Añejo. Añejo is eight years old. Tastes similar to brandy. It's good. And you regularly you drink it uh, straight. We don't add Coca-Cola, we don't add nothing to it. it was, it flavor has a nice, a good flavor. <laughs> Facing amigos, the downtown San Juan. This section is known as San Torce. The busiest section regarding all the islands. Very, very close to half a million residents live in this San Torce section. Coming up to the right, we have two towers. Those are offices, buildings, government offices, buildings. In the first tower is where we all go for paying, for paying our property taxes. In the second tower is where we all go for paying our sale taxes. 
sale taxes amigos 11.5 percent and we are expecting a raise up to 16 percent property taxes property taxes varies between 5 to 7 percent between 5 to 7 percent according to what to the main principle of the real estate business, which is location. The same thing with uh, property value, amigos. It varies according to the location. If you have an apartment, facing East Lover the beach in a nice condominium amigos it will go higher than in any other point of San Juan Sea you will see some damage caused by Hurricane Maria a little bit more than two years ago in some of the houses. Many, many others. All the way along from here, you can see the, the damage. very surely amigos we are going to be passing right next to a low income residential <coughs> it's coming up here to our left hand side hmm? amigos, amigos this is the largest low-income residential or uh, the largest housing project we got in Puerto Rico. This residential has a capacity for 2,000 families. We have 145 of those all the way around the islands. And all these places are run by HUD. You guys heard uh, about the hot, don't you? Housing and ur urban development hot. The first, the first requirement you need to cover for getting into any of those is to be USA citizen. That's why they are run by hot. those apartments you pay not according to the size of the apartment you pay according to what you make but you still have to need to be you need to be low income classified as low income in the back of those apartments we have some nice condominium in the back of those condominiums, we have East La Perde Beach, the nicest beach we got in San Juan City. Amigos, and very, very surely we are going to be back to the airport. Let me tell you, amigos, once, once we get to the airport, I'm going to drive you directly to the point where your luggage is supposed to be. <laughs> I love to see those places when I say things. <laughs> Amigos, in this lovely section, East La Verde, we have three of the fanciest hotel, tourism hotels we got in Puerto Rico. 
We have the Intercontinental. We have the El San Juan Hotel. And we also have the Ritz Card. This is the fanciest. Amigos, the 65% of our geography consists of mountains. The highest peak reaches up to 5200 feet above the sea level. What else we make in Puerto Rico besides rum? Uh, coffee is classified as a product grown in Puerto Rico, belongs to agriculture. Yes, we grow coffee. We grow coffee, sugar cane, tobacco. We also grow avocados, bananas, papayas, watermelons, oranges, great fruits, red fruits, and many, many other minor pineapples. We got big plantations, bananas, bananas, and many, many other products are grown in Puerto Rico. But I, what I meant was Products made in Puerto Rico, made in Puerto Rico, textile products, petrochemicals. We also make electrical equipment. We also make elect, this is very important, electronical equipment. Amigos, we got a company in Puerto Rico known as Medtronics. These people make the about 80%, maybe more than 80% of all the pacemakers consumed in America. When I say America, it's North America, Central and South America. These people also produce many, many different artifacts done for measuring different uh, things of your body, like blood pressure, like uh, the, uh, blood sh sugar in sugar in your blood or something something like that my friends but we also produce this is very important for our people we have about 30 different pharmaceutical companies these people produces many different pills but I know maybe many of you have consumed our pills without knowing that they were made in Puerto Rico. Pills like Advil, Tylenol, Panador, the calcium, ca calcium pill, Caltrati, vitamins like Centrum Vitamins. We also produce a blue pill, I forget the name, but it's the, it's the best seller in the world. I forget the name. But they also pro, we also produce the competition for that one. Levitra, Levitra, Cialix, and by, uh, that's the name, somebody remember the name. Yes, Viagra. Viagra is made by Pfizer people in Puerto Rico. Oh yes, amigos. Puerto Rico is a big manufacturing place. So now you know the three major industries, tourism number two and the agriculture. In agriculture, mostly livestock. All right, amigos, amigos, for me, it's been a pleasure, big pleasure, meeting you and serving you as a tour guide in my country. My friends, from the bottom of my heart, enjoy the rest of your vacations. God bless you all. God bless our country. God bless Canada. God bless England. Right, God bless the Queen. Thank you for coming to Puerto Rico.